Texas basketball coming off their first loss in Big 12 play and gearing up to play their biggest rivals, Oklahoma. The Longhorns believe effort and aggressiveness will be major factors in the game. It was a tough loss this past Saturday for the Longhorns, but they're feeling confident as they return home to face Kansas. With Sam Ellinger's announcement that he'll return for his senior season, there's already plenty of excitement among Longhorn fans for 2020. The undefeated Westlake Chaparrales are back to district action tonight against Austin High. The Chaparrales boast an explosive offense with a balanced running and passing attack. Texas hosting Kansas State and the Longhorns are getting more than just a home court advantage. The Wildcats not arriving in Austin till this afternoon and not getting to the arena until 540. And that's for a 7 o'clock tip. Weather keeping them from leaving Manhattan yesterday, just a miserable travel experience. Both Texas and K-State 0-2 in Big 12 play coming into this one, a pivotal early season conference game. Longhorns start out with some hot shooting, 3 for 3 from beyond the arc. Kamaka Hepa beats the shot clock for the 3, but K-State ties it up. And then takes a lead on Cartier Jada driving layup, but he's the only Wildcat in double digits with 14 points. Jace Fabrez ties things up with the fadeaway, 10 points for him. Then before the half, Hepa with another buzzer beater, and Texas goes into the breakup 31-27. Second half, Longhorns start to pull away. Jericho Sims with the hook shot in the paint. And then Courtney Ramey from deep, three of his 11 points. That's all part of a 20-2 run from the first half to the second half, including Andrew Jones with the steal and the alley-oop layup. That caps off a 14-0 run to open the second half. Then Matt Coleman, the acrobatic layup, gets the bucket and the foul. Horns up 61-46 after the free throw. Coleman with a team-high 14 points, the cherry on top. Will Baker, the Westlake product, owns 16 to start his career from the deep, off the glass for his first three of his Texas career. Longhorns get their first Big 12, 12 win of the year. You know, we really challenged our guys coming off the last game. That's Texas's first home win over K-State since 2015, and overall the Longhorns' 1800th win as a program, the 18th team in NCAA history to reach that milestone. Longhorns back on the road next week, a Wednesday showdown with Oklahoma State. The Pokes also 0-2 to start conference play. An offensive struggle in the first half, Chris Harris Jr. with the three ties things up at 17-all. But Desmond Bain goes on a solo 7-0 run to end the half. The three sends the Horn Frogs into the break up 24-17. Second half though, Pokes trying to keep it close. Caleb Boone with the steal and Isaac Lykel with the 1-1. One one. Team high 12 points for Lykel. Wildcats just too much. Bain capping off an 8-0 run. He finishes with a game-high 20 points. So Texas gets a desperate Oklahoma State next team next week. 0-3 in Big 12 play after a 52-40 road loss today. Now back to basketball in the SEC. Texas A&M at Vanderbilt. Aggies on top from the jump. J.J. Chandler hits the three to make it a 10-point game. He goes for 10 today. Late in the first half, Emmanuel Miller with the elevation for the alley-oop layup. Savion Flagg almost accidentally made it. Aggies up 36-20 at the break. In the second half, Andre Gordon, the team high 15 points, one of just two Aggies in double digits, but that was plenty for A&M. Then Josh Nebo gets the rebound, goes up strong for the finish, and the flag puts a bow on things. The little fall away jumper from the baseline, Aggies win it 69-50. One other notable college basketball game to talk about, Texas State basketball defeated Appalachian State 82-57. They improved to 10-8 overall, 3-4 in conference play. That's it for sports. We'll be back after the break. Jack Mayfield's career has seen plenty of highs and lows, yet he continues to be ready as he seeks to stay at the pro level. Well, I've just learned a little bit each year, and it, it's definitely helped me get to this point in my career. He's been at the pro level for seven years, but this one has been the most special. Mayfield was undrafted out of college. 600 games later, he made his major league debut with the Houston Astros. He also made magic in his first at bat. I had a lot of confidence in myself and I wasn't too nervous. I was pretty relaxed out there and, you know, so I think that's why I uh, did okay while I was up there is because I wasn't too nervous. From college, I never would have thought that I would get this far. You know, I just wanted a shot, but I, uh, you know, stuck my mind to it and I was like, you got to get better to, to continue playing this game and, 
you know, so all the hard work has, has been paying off. Mayfield played 16 games with the Astros before returning to the Express, but the experience, he says, will carry him for the rest of his career. Victoria Hartman, KXAN News.